What if we're dead wrong about silver and gold? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I'm going to read to you a silver autopsy report. Why we were dead wrong about the value of stacking silver and gold. It turns out that stacking silver and gold was foolish. The pundits, the experts on CNBC, Fox Business, were right. Jim Cramer, Dave Ramsey, they were right to praise the U.S. stock market. They were right to deride silver and gold as relics from the past, rocks with no purpose whatsoever. Your professional certified financial advisor, which I am obviously not, could barely contain his laughter at your stacking for good reason. You never, ever should have had a growing silver and gold position in your portfolio. We were dead wrong, people, about silver and gold. Let's read the report. The economy is fine. COVID-19 was just a speed bump. There is no real and fake economy. What you and I see in the NASDAQ and the Dow, that is reality. And the recovery was V-shaped. Everything is coming roaring back. The retail industry, well, online retail industry at least, the service sector, manufacturing. Okay, well, maybe not manufacturing, but who cares, right? <laughs> we don't actually need to make anything anymore, right? That's what cheap Asian labor is all about. Anyway, the dollar is strong. Well, okay, maybe it's getting weaker in terms of goods and services, but compared to other world currencies, we're the boss, right? And that will never ever change okay maybe it will end i don't know like in my great great grandkids day but hey by then they'll probably be living on mars and don't even need money <laughs> no the dollar rules and always will we'll never lose our reserve currency status cash is king baby Okay, well, maybe not cash, the physical stuff. That might vanish out of existence, starting with a Benjamin. I mean, come on. <laughs> Who needs this anyways, right? Ditch the $100 bill. Get rid of change. What a waste. We really don't need currency per se. I mean, shoot, the phone booth isn't a thing anymore. No one but Superman misses that. So ditch physical currency. Who needs cash anyway? That way, central banks can track and trace us like they should. Speaking of central banks, all this talk about central bank digital currencies or CBDCs, when FedCoin is released, oh, it will be beautiful. They'll drop currency right into our digital wallets. Forget the bond market. They won't be needed like they are now. We'll get the stimulus when and how we really need it. Fast and big, people. Fiscal stimulus is good. Haven't figured that out yet? Oh, okay, maybe not for those who don't need it. I mean, you know, but the but 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 for the regular people, the, the other 99%, stimulus is awesome. Ooh, the wealthy, yeah, they have too much anyway, so you know, make them pay their fair share. Raise their taxes, okay? Just like we did when we introduced the income tax back in 1913. Yeah, I know it didn't take long for it to hammer the middle class back then, but that was then. This is now. That won't happen again. Taxes are not going to go up for everyone under a, you know, President Biden and the other liberal elites. No way. Uh-uh. Plus Frankly, who cares if it does? <laughs> we'll have plenty of Fed coins to pay for everything. Fiscal stimulus for the masses. We just went through a pandemic for crying out loud. We had to have stimulus. We need more stimulus. I know during World War II, people had 
you know, almost no debt, plenty of savings. They sacrifice without the need for stimulus. I, I, I know that. Whatever. Today, debt is good. Saving is for idiots. Spend what you have. Just, just do it. Everybody does. Enjoy life now while everything is obtainable with a credit card. Okay, maybe not a credit card. <laughs> it's not a high interest rate credit card. But thanks to the Fed, okay, keeping their thumb on interest rates, loans are ridiculously cheap, right? And thanks to cheap money, large companies can buy back their stock and make their numbers look great for Wall Street. Not that a decent price to earnings ratio matters anyway. So no, no, whatever. Interest rates are low and they are never, ever, ever going up. We're set for life. The Federal Reserve knows exactly what to do with interest rates. They have all the knobs and switches and dials to keep it at zero forever. Zerp. And if Zerp doesn't work, there's always NERP, negative interest rates. That worked fine in Europe. Okay, maybe not in Europe, but it's not like going negative will keep us in a multi-decade recession like Japan. No, no, of course not. And inflation? It's not a thing anymore. It probably should be ripped right out of economic textbooks. It doesn't exist. Okay, okay, maybe it does kind of exist, but it's not an issue anymore. No, not since we've gone under modern monetary theory, MMT. No, you just tax the snot out of inflation and it magically goes away. Anyway, this is America. It's not Japan. It's not Russia. It's not China. I mean, they're losers, okay? China has absolutely no shot at becoming an economic powerhouse like us. Uh uh. China's. China needs us to consume their products. They need us to give them debt. I mean, who else? Who else is going to take the economic lead around the world? Come on. It's got to be us. We have the SWIFT system. We have the petrodollar. Shoot, we have Netflix. China wants our IOUs anyways, so they can keep making stuff for us. Okay, maybe they don't want our IOUs a lot anymore. But again, who cares? Okay. If they cut back on buying our treasuries or they just let them mature and roll off, we can buy our own IOUs. The Fed loves to do that. And now that Janet Yellen is headed for the treasury, the IOUs are going to come out like a tidal wave. All right. Maybe I shouldn't use the word tidal wave, but you know what I'm saying? Debt means nothing anymore. Trade deficits mean nothing. Same thing with budget deficits. It all doesn't matter anymore. If we ever need more dollars, we only need to print them. See, modern monetary theory isn't a theory anymore. It works. You want to forgive every student loan debt? Do it. Don't worry about where the cash is coming from. We'll simply print it. Well, we don't need to print it anymore. You know, just add some zeros to the correct side of the government's balance sheet and voila, it's a debt jubilee. And why stop there? You know those zombie companies everybody's all worried about? Just bail them out. We're done. See, bailouts are good. Well, okay, maybe not for the big companies or, 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 or the banks. No, the, they can be bailed out after you and I get bailed out. Do some, you know, balance sheet data dibbling for me and my small business first. And then maybe you can bail out the big boys after that. But regardless of all this, you know, monetary mumbo jumbo I'm talking about, it really boils down to this. The ever-growing, ever-watching, ever-regulating, wonderful, loving federal government that just needs a little bit more control of our lives. Oh, yeah, I know the American founders established a system of government based on enumerated federal powers, but the Constitution's a living document. What we need, what we have always needed is a massive federal government that just gives us what we need when we need it to those it deems needs it the most. Please don't call it a nanny state. Come on, guys. Especially you independent free market capitalists. You, 
You are the problem. You are a relic from the past. Get with the program. We're headed for a great leap forward. Okay, I know Mao said that, but we're talking about democratic socialism, people. It's good. It's it's democratic, right? There's no way democratic socialism will ever cause a drop in our general standard of living. Come on. No way. No way social chaos will reign. Not here. Not in America. We know how to do it right. So you can easily read the autopsy report for silver and gold, can't you? The economy's great. The U.S. dollar reigns supreme forever. Central bank digital currencies, oh, they'll make cash obsolete and our lives so much better. Stimulus must never end. Debt is no problem, especially with MMT. And socialism, I'm sorry, democratic socialism <laughs> is the answer to our new American way of life. It's obvious that precious metals are dead, right? Anyone foolish enough to keep stacking them after hearing this report clearly needs an intervention. <laughs> they need to be redoctrinated, uh, helped. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope your day.